Welcome to previous day tutor. In this video, we will be looking at biology. Question 1 says, figure 1.1 shows the light microscope. Identify the part labeled A and B. So I've put answers here, I'll be explaining how I came up with the answers. So we have that part. Stage A, stage A there, uh, sorry, part A is actually a stage, that's where here, that's where, uh, sorry, this was not supposed to be the stage, sorry. It was not supposed to be the stage, but it was supposed to be the mirror. 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 Not the stage, sorry. So it's a mirror. So this part is the mirror. Not a stage. Uh, apologize for that. B says adjusting knob, which is there, you can see. You can see that B is actually the adjusting knob. Then, use letter X. Label on figure 1.1, one, one part where magnification takes place. So you can see that magnification takes place around here, this place, this area here. That's where I put an X there. Then, I'll try, I'll try the correct procedure to follow in order to use a microscope to view a specimen. So, stage step one is you need to clean the stage and the specimen to put the specimen on the slide. So, right here, here on the stage, there are got two slides. So, uh, then, um, so the, the stage is like something like this where you can where you can put something so these two parts and this one this, these are what we call slides so they are known as slides and this you put your specimen just in the middle there so the light is able to pass there in between there step three is uh, put your eye on the eyepiece to view the, the specimen so on top there of the microscope there is what to call an eyepiece just here so just here on top here that's where you put your eye in order to view the specimen properly for for for, for a clear image you, you, you need to rotate the adjusting knob in order to get a good uh, magnification that was in point number four point C, question C says, describe how magnification is determined using a microscope. Now, you know that magnification is the ratio, it has got no units. So, it's just the number of how many times an image has been enlarged. So, step one is to know the height or the length of the specimen or anything that can be used to determine magnification. Two is find the height or length of an image after you view it. Therefore, you say magnification is equal to the image's height over object height. You can also say, uh, the image's length over the object's length. 2.1 shows the elementary canal and is the uh, associated associated part. In which labor structure are bowel salts produced? Now, like bowel salts are produced in the liver, and that's where even fat emulsification takes place uh, most of the time, also in the duodenum. So you can see that. Mm, here, just in the liver here, that's where uh, bowel salts are produced. Explain how, explain the law of bowel salts in digestion. Like I said, bowel, this is a combination of a lot of things there, it helps in the digestion of fats. Also what we call emulsification of fats. So I would advise you, come up, you become convinced that the way emulsification just means the breakdown of large fat molecules into smaller particles of the same fat molecules. In which label the structure in figure 2.1 a protein first digestion. You know that protein digestion takes place in the stomach. Here. This is the stomach, that's where protein digestion takes place. Explain how protein digestion takes place in the structure and find B1 above. Now you know that proteins can be digested by a lot of enzymes that are protein in nature. For example, proteins. The one which I've used here, proteins, is one of the enzymes that can uh, digest um, mm, uh, Proteins, also pepsin. Pepsin can also uh, mm, digest proteins. Even peptidase can also do uh, protein digestion. Then after doing protein digestion, we are saying, 
so we, we are saying sorry during protein digestion the first part which is formed are peptides the peptides after, after they are formed they form what we call peptones the smallest uh, form of protein then from there amino acids are formed which are the building blocks of, uh, of protein name two elements of structure C now we're saying structure C is the liver so they're saying name two elements of the liver elements they mean disorders of the liver diseases that the liver can get infected one of them is hepatitis two is hepatomegaly and um, three is psychosis you should know what these terms mean so thank you so much for watching don't forget to subscribe and previously tutor